welcome back puzzle solvers to yet another episode of pediatric puzzles today we are tackling a tricky case that might leave you feeling a little well um what's a delicate way to put it gassy we're diving deep into infantile hypertrophic pyloric stenosis also known as the great gas guzzler now picture this a seemingly healthy infant a few weeks old starts projectile vomiting after every feed it's like tiny old faithful geyser erupting in your nursery this my friends could be a sign of pyloric stenosis so what's actually going on behind the scenes the pylorus is a muscular valve at the bottom of the stomach that controls the flow of food into the small intestine in pyloric stenosis these muscles become abnormally thick and narrow making it hard for food to pass through it's like a stubborn bouncer at a microscopic night club nothing's getting in this condition is more common in boys especially first born ones and it usually shows up between the 3rd and 6th weeks of age but how do we diagnose it you ask well a pediatric sherlock holmes might look for clues like the projectile puke as mentioned forceful vomiting is a hallmark symptom think geyser not gentle gurgle the olive oil belly sometimes a doctor might feel a firm olive shaped mass in the baby's tummy that's the thickened pylorus waves of hunger the baby might seem hungry after vomiting but then be unable to keep anything down it's a frustrating cycle for everyone involved now to confirm our suspicions we might use some investigational tools like an ultrasound this painless test gives us a clear picture of the pylorus and its thickness thankfully there are solutions to this pyloric party pooper the most common treatment is surgery called a pyloromyotomy oh but before you rush to doing surgery you need to correct the baby's dehydration and electrolyte imbalances which might have occurred due to the repeated vomiting once that is done the surgeon does a minimally invasive procedure and snips the thickened muscle away widening the doorway for food to pass through smoothly after surgery the recovery is usually quick and most babies go back to being happy little eaters within a few days but as with any surgery there can be some post operative complications like infection dehydration recurrence rarely incisional hernia so how do we care for our little post pyloromyotomy puzzle pieces well here's the recipe for success small frequent feeds think tiny sips instead of a big gulp monitor for dehydration keep an eye on wet diapers and check for signs like dry mouth or sunken fontanel oh well that's the soft spot on a baby's head and some tlc lots of cuddles and comfort go a long way in helping your little one heal remember if you suspect pyloric stenosis in your baby seek immediate medical attention early diagnosis and treatment can make a world of difference that's all for today's episode of pediatric puzzles we hope you learned something new and maybe a little gross about the great gas guzzler until next time stay curious and keep solving those puzzles peace out